I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to change the screen mode of all Samsung Galaxy devices to a secret hidden mode. So for those who may not be familiar, if we dive into the settings application, scroll down a little bit and then tap on display and from here we can look for a screen mode option. Now as far as user facing options are concerned, there's probably only going to be two different ones that you can choose from depending on which Samsung Galaxy device that you own. We have Vivid and we have Natural. So depending on if you like a more saturated look, you can set this to vivid, but if you want this to not pop as much, then you can set this to natural. But many Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets have hidden secret options that we can change the screen mode to. This includes AMOLED Cinema, aka DCI P3, AMOLED Photo, aka Adobe RGB and BASIC aka sRGB. But before we can set it to one of these other screen modes, we first need to install a free application from the Google Play Store. You can find this app by searching for the word set edit, all one word, but I'll be sure to include a direct link to the app page down in the video description below. Once the app has been installed, we can open it up. And if this is your first time using it, then you're going to be greeted with a request to allow the app to send notifications. We can disable this via the toggle at the top without worry of it preventing the app from working properly. So we don't need to deal with notifications from the set edit application. As we get to the main page here, you're gonna to want to scroll down until you start seeing options that begin with the letter S. And you're going to want to look for the screen mode setting option that you see here. Now if we look back, you can see we have our screen mode currently set to vivid. In the database, this option is actually assigned to the number four, which is why when we look at the set edit app, we can see the screen mode setting option is set to number four. However, if we go back to the screen mode page, choose natural, and then we force close the set edit app and open it back up. And now we're gonna scroll down again, find the screen mode setting database entry. And you can see that this value has been changed to three. And that's because the natural screen mode is assigned to the number three. Now, if you remember, I just said that we have three hidden screen modes that this can be changed to, even though there aren't any user facing options for us to choose. So instead of changing this feature via the settings app, we can do it from the set edit application. And we can do this by again opening up set edit scrolling until we find the screen mode setting database entry selecting it and then choosing the edit value option so if you're wanting to change this to amoled cinema aka dci p3 then we can change this value to the number zero. Tap on save change 
and then look to make sure that, that the screen mode setting is reflected here to show the value of zero. With that changed, we can go back into the settings app, tap on display, find the screen mode option, and you can see it's changed to AMOLED Cinema. When we tap it, we're not going to see either of our user facing options selected because one of the hidden options is currently selected. If we wanted to change the screen mode feature on our Samsung Galaxy S23 to AMOLED Photo, aka Adobe RGB, then we can do that by selecting the screen mode setting database entry here, choosing edit value, and then changing the value to the number one. Now tap on save change. And again, make sure that the screen mode setting has been changed to the number one. And lastly, we can change this to the basic option aka sRGB by setting this value to the number two and tapping on save changes. So depending on which type of display calibration style that you like the most, you now have five different options to choose from. Again, I did this on my Galaxy S23 here but it should work on all Samsung Galaxy devices, including the company's tablet line and the more affordable Galaxy A and Galaxy M series of devices as well. While it may not work on every single device, due to some of these smartphones and tablets not having the proper hardware, it should work on most of them that are available right now. And I want to thank YouTube user BlueSpy377 for this tip. I saw they left a comment about this on a Galaxy S22 video that I have here on the channel. And I appreciate that they shared this hidden feature with us recently.